the Goldberg. Brought to you every weekday at this time by the makers of High Test Oxidol. Oh, Mother, look at this luncheon cloth. It's positively gray. I'd rather not give a party than have to let the girl see that. <laughs> well, somebody's young daughter's having a fit. And you really can't blame her. If that luncheon cloth's really half as bad as she says it is, because here, this girl's probably just like yours. Been brought up in a nice home with everything clean and spotless, and she just won't stand for things not being up to standard. Of course, the thing that's happened probably is that Mother's been using some lazy laundry soap in her washing machine. But if she'll just switch to Oxidol, friend-daughter would never have reason to be ashamed of the table linen. No, because Oxidol's a bear for getting things white. Dazzling white every single wash. And say, just to show you what I mean, here's what I'd like you to do. This week sometime, drop in at your nearest Apex washing machine dealer. Yes, because all this week he's demonstrating Oxidol in one of those new Apex time control washers the Apex people have just been produced without cost or obligation. And he'll give you first-hand proof of how gorgeously white Oxidol washes. You see, the Apex company itself, yes, the makers of the famous Apex washing machines, among the foremost washer manufacturers in the whole country, are now officially recommending Oxidol and only Oxidol for use in their famous washers. Recommending Oxidol because after 20 years of experience with home laundry problems, they're satisfied it's an ideal soap. A soap that washes white things gloriously white, yet with safety for washable colors. And what makes the Apex people so sure of Oxidol? Ladies, they've seen the reports of actual tests made in Procter & Gamble's research laboratories that prove Oxidol washes as much as 9 to 11 shades whiter than many other popular soaps. Yes, as much as 9 to 11 actual tintometer shades whiter with safety to washable colors. So, remember, washer owners, visit your nearest Apex dealer this week. Yes, in justice to your own table linens, your sheets and towels, see him demonstrate Oxidol in the famous new Apex time control washer this week. See for yourself how amazingly white Oxidol can wash. And now, the Goldberg. As soon as Sammy Goldberg realized that Sylvia Allison was not the sweet, lovable girl she appeared to be, but a greedy, ambitious person instead, he had a terrible scene with her and poured forth all his humiliation and anger at having been fooled and blinded. He accused her of what she'd done to destroy her sister Leah's happiness, of how she'd hoodwinked her father, and then he went out and slammed the door. The next morning, Sammy left without saying goodbye to anyone except poor, frightened Carabel. And Carabel told Sylvia, just as Mr. Allison got a call from Jake Goldberg. Yes, the Goldbergs are arriving in a few minutes. Allison, overjoyed with surprise, ran up to tell his daughter. Let's visit the Goldbergs, who are putting the last finishing touches to their appearance before they arrive. Yes, Miss Darling, what is, what is Papa doing, Kurt? I think he's inside finishing his coffee. Yeah? All mm -hmm. right, Mommy. So, so give me my, my mind pocket book. I got a couple postal cards. I'll give a scribble. Not now, Ma. Well, why not? Pa Papa and Uncle David are still swallowing a cup, he said. So give me the... Uh, I think I have three postal cards. Picture postal cards. I want to send to Martha before and to Mrs. Bloom and one to all the girls. G give me, Mama. You open, open the bag, please. Give it, I'll scribble. Ma, you didn't fix your hair yet, and, and you didn't put any powder on your hair. I will, I will, I will, darling, I will. You, you got my fountain pen? Look, darling, see if I got my fountain pen. I think I got it in Kenneth. Yeah. Look, see, shake it, shake it. Wait. Right. Yeah, I, I think so. All right, so give me, darling. So, so right, Mom, and you're right. So, here, le le lean on here, darling. Le lean on here, right. Uh, right, each one duplicated, duplicated. In according to my direction. Come. So? All oh, right. Yeah. Without faces, look, 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 without faces. If Mama says, all the time when Mama says, write the postal cards, there's always with faces. Without faces, right. All right, Ma, but Papa will be angry if you stop now to write postcards. Can't you wait until we get to the Allison? We're almost there, Ma. In my excitement to see Samuel and to see Mr. and Mrs. Allison and uh, Miss Allison and everybody, I wouldn't have time to write and I wouldn't have the disposition to write and so forth. You, you know me when I get excited. Please, everybody's so anxious to know. So write to Mrs. Bloom. Mm -hmm. Take down. Say down. Um, uh, Mrs. Bloom, first sight. Mm -hmm. uh, say, uh, what should I say? Say, um, say, uh, Mrs. Bloom. So, so, so don't stand me the fountain. Oh, Thank you, Mrs. Bloom, dear friend. Um, uh, the, uh, I, I, I want to stand here. Well, you say, um, I'm in my destination. 
Uh -huh. I'm from South Carolina, Nola Zell, in uh, letter, uh, letters of color, love. Uh, I have to tell you how to write a postal card saying have a wonderful time in regard. All right, Ma, I'll write it. I'm sure you're not sure of your dear friends. You're, you're in that all in, in, in love and regard. Oh, That's right. all. Oh, here comes Papa, Ma. Oh, Papa? Put away the postal card. Right. And, and give me my powder puff. Yes. Yes. I do? No, Molly, let's go. Yeah, yes, dear, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm just fixing my face. Uh, you look wonderful. Beautiful. Stop already a pardon, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, Rosalie, dear, do you have a bobby pin? Wait, I'll see, Mom. Will you hurry, please? Jay, darling, Key, you aren't gassed up yet. And Uncle David is still finishing his coffee in the restaurant. I told Alice Neely would be there in a few minutes. We will, Papa, darling. We're just outside of the town now. So there's a bobby pin, Rosalie. Here, Mama, darling. Uh, bobby pins and schmabby pins. Oh, Jake, please. D -d Don't get so nervous, please. I, I can't just walk into a strange house and, and make a personal appearance. After all, dear. They're not expecting Greta Gabo. Not expecting Greta Gabo. I didn't say it. And then... Uh, Excuse me, I beg your pardon. Also, they, they're not expecting Clark Gable, not me. Uh, but uh, you, you took a shine. You changed your shade, Jackie. You changed Why did I shine. change? Because you asked me to change. I said, so well, uh, what am I saying? What then am I saying? You said, oh, Jackie. Yes. Never, <laughs> never, no. never once in my life, when it comes to go someplace, do something or say something, that if it comes to it, that it isn't, I said it, I did it, I want to... All right, honey, oh, Seymour's calling you. Seymour's calling. So he has to blow his phone for me. He can't come over here. He wants you to pay for the gas. Molly, are you coming or not? I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Put it in my pocket. I'm right. coming. So, uh, Jay, so take my arm. Give me your hand. Take my arm, Jay. Hey, Molly, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> like this, we'll walk down the aisle, huh? How do we look, Rosalie? Beautiful. Yeah? Beautiful, Jake. You hear? <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> but from what has happened in Allison's house, we don't think Molly and Jake will find any aisle to walk down. For Sylvia, standing overwhelmed by the fact of Sammy's departure and the knowledge that his parents will be there in a few minutes, she looks at Carabelle. Her father's happy voice is calling Sammy down the hall, and Sylvia feels the whole fine world she created out of the suffering of other people tumbling beneath her. Miss Sylvia, please don't stand there like that. I'm scared something's going to happen to you if you don't say something or do something. Just be quiet and let me think. There ain't nothing you can think out now, Miss Silver. Sam and Joan and his folks will be here in a few minutes. Tell your father, let him do something. I told you to keep quiet. Oh, why didn't those fools let us know? Oh. Oh. Ready? Sylvia, are you getting ready? Carabo, what are you doing up here? Get get the table set. Get things ready. Sammy's family will be here in a few minutes. I'll go down and help Carol down a minute, Daddy. I want her to help me but first. But hurry, hurry. Go ahead. Ah, uh, Sylvia. You know how many years I haven't seen Jake over? It must be certainly over 20. <laughs> we'll have plenty to talk about. Plenty. And now, at long last, we're going to be related. I tell you, it's a small world. Fate plays funny little tricks. Yeah. No, what am I standing here for? Terrible. Uh, b b b wake up, Sammy. Well, never mind. I'll wake him up. You help me. Oh, Miss Ellie, he's going to find out. He's going to see that empty room, and he's going to see that Sammy's gone. What's your father going to say? Oh, Miss Ellie, this is trouble. This is sure bad time. What are we going to say to your father? Be quiet, Terrible. <laughs> Sammy's going to come back. I know he will. He must. How you know that, Miss Sylvie? How you gonna tell your father that Miss Sammy just said goodbye? What are we gonna do with all those folks on our hands and Mr. Sammy gone? What are you gonna tell your father about me? Sylvia. <laughs> Where's Sammy? Uh, Miss Allison. Not in his room? He go to the store so early? Sammy, darling. Where's Sammy? Daddy. What's all the crying for? Oh, what, what's going on here? Where's Sammy? He's gone. <laughs> I told you we had a quarrel. Gone? What do you mean, gone? He just got up and left Miss house, and he just went away. Oh, we quarreled. All right, all right, a quarrel. But 
How did he leave? Where? He'll come back. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, Daddy. I tried to tell him not to go to the You knew he was going? I saw him go. Well, why wasn't I told? I tried to tell him not to go. What am I going to tell his mother? What am I going to tell his father? Oh, me, I hear a car. What am I going to do? Don't tell them yet, Daddy, darling. Don't tell them yet. What do you mean, don't tell them? I have to tell them. Get away from that window and get down or open the door. Wait. Think of something, Daddy. What is there to think? They'll ask you where he is, and you won't be able to tell him. Go and open that door, Carabelle. Daddy, they want to know why we quarrel, and you'll have to tell him. You'll have to bring Ed and Leah into it and everything we wanted to keep to ourselves. They'll have to know, and why should they know? Go down and open that door. We can tell them Sammy run away for a few days. You can tell him you sent him on a business trip, something on business. He didn't expect them. They didn't say they were coming. It's natural. He was learning the business. You sent him to buy merchandise. And you sent him to look at some property. They understand. Open that Daddy door. Daddy, darling. Daddy, darling. Do it my way. Please. Sammy loves me. He'll come back when he realizes what he's done. How poor is your sin? He'll come back. Please, Daddy. Arabelle, I said open that door. Sylvia's fighting for time to get reorganized. Will she be able to keep her father from telling the Goldbergs the truth? And in telling them, might Allison realize that Sylvia has never been what she appears to be? Yes, and how will this all end for Sammy? Now, washer owners, for dazzling white safe washes, use Oxidol in your washing machine. Yes, Oxidol, the soap that those big important washer makers like Apex now officially recommend for use in their washers. And remember, nobody who uses Oxidol ever has to worry about clouds of sneezy soap dust. Every ounce of Oxidol, every pound and package is especially processed to prevent excess soap dust and those miserable fits of sneezing it can cause. And listen, whatever you do, don't fail to accept that invitation from your Apex washer dealer to stop in this week and see him demonstrating Oxidol in one of the great new Apex time control washers. No cost or obligation whatsoever. Just a marvelous chance to see what marvelously safe, white, economical washers Oxidol can turn out for you. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. The Goldbergs walk in on a house whose secret life is still to be revealed to them. And Sammy is not there. This living story of those lovable Goldbergs is written for you by Gertrude Berg and brought to you by the makers of the new high-test Oxidol. And this is James Fleming saying goodbye till tomorrow. Goodbye till tomorrow.